Good evening, and welcome to NYC Arts. I'm Paula Zahn, on location at the Bartow Pell Mansion Museum in the Bronx. Just 10 miles from Manhattan, the museum is a hidden gem set within New York City's largest park, Pelham Bay. As the only grand 19th century country house still in existence overlooking the bay, the museum provides an important link to the social and architectural history of New York City. Visitors can take guided tours of the mansion, the carriage house, view the collection of furnishings, fine and decorative arts, and stroll the grounds and formal gardens. The mansion that we see today was built in 1846 for the family of Robert Bartow, his wife Maria Lorillard Bartow, and their seven children. The preferred design for buildings and furnishings at this time was the classical style, with a sense of balance and serenity. This reflected the admiration for the mathematical and scientific principles as defined by Andrea Palladio, an influential artist of the Italian Renaissance. One of the center tables in the parlor rooms was made in New York in about 1825. Like its many counterparts of the period, it reflects the fascination with classical antiquity that swept the Western world after the excavations of Herculaneum and Pompeii. A center table was actually a new form of furniture at this time, as were scroll arm sofas and sarcophagus-shaped cellarettes, storage cabinets for keeping wine cool. Center tables not only reflected an international style, but also had philosophical and political meaning through an association with Greek and Roman republics. In short, the classical style was a reflection of democratic values. Despite economic downturns in the decades that followed, the Bartow House escaped the fate of other mansions that were eventually demolished. Enter Mrs. Charles Frederick Hoffman, a prominent figure in New York, Newport, and British society. Zelia, as she was known, took on the leadership of the International Garden Club, which leased the Bartow Mansion from New York City for use as its headquarters. It was through her support that the restoration of the house and gardens began, and her portrait remains here in tribute to her vision. 